Here's one of your stars, Anthony Parati, number eight in the country as we get it started with the 165 weight class. Connor Utsi, Rossi Bruno, they took the first two decisions for Michigan. Anthony Ashnold came back. How dominating Alec Pantaleo looked for Michigan. He takes a major decision, and then Richie Lewis is firing up the crowd right before our first intermission, the decision over Brian Murphy. And that's where we stand right now, 10 to 6. And Sean, you got over 3,000 fans in this building. The, the atmosphere was electrifying towards the tail end of the first half, and we'll see more of that. Yeah, Richie Lewis, like I said, he's exciting, his energy, and he got everybody fired up right before the half, and here comes another one of your guys who wrestles very similar to Richie, so I'm sure they have some good battles in the room, but Anthony Parati's a gamer. He gets excited, and this is one they're going to have to have in a big way if they're going to want to give themselves a shot going into that final three up top, four, six, and four. We'll have two more ranked bouts later on. That will be Abinator for Michigan against Gravita and then Smith and Kuhn, the two heavyweights. Sutton right in on a single leg, switch to a double. Parati rolling through, comes all the way around, has a wizard in on his own ankle. Good job wrestling through the position. Sutton going right after him here in the first minute. Parati's got to continue to wrestle position. Good job, you see him right there wizarding, but he doesn't have it on the arm, has it on his own ankle. Wrestling through the position, and they call a stall call. I mean, it, it, I, I breathe heavy because it's, you know, you see Leo saying he's wrestling through the period. I, what do you want? Should he give up the takedown instead of getting hit for stalling because he's trying to wrestle through the period? It's They've been scrambling for 45 seconds. It's, it's uh, I don't know, another, another one of those very flexible calls. Oh, John Leonardis, he did some excellent work, always animated, one of the two assistants for Scott Goodell's crew along with Donnie Pritzlaff, like we mentioned. Got to keep in mind as well, for Michigan, they're without Devontae Mahomes, the number 13th rated wrestler in the country at 174, has been banged up, didn't wrestle a couple days ago against Maryland. Aaron Calderon came in and did a fine job. He pinned his opponent, so he is about one ranked wrestler, and then just as capable, grappler comes in right behind him. Yeah, in the Big Ten, you have to have depth. I mean, that's huge. And there, right there, right there, Anthony Prati in on a very quick takedown. And gets, finishes it, gets off the legs, sits right back to a rollback half. Trying to get some back points out of him. He's got it close. That's certainly tight. But both legs in now. He's got to keep himself in good position. He's got two. And he's got him tight. And there's your four back points. Now Parati's got to start thinking fall, getting himself in a position. It's going to be tough to get him through there, but there's your four back points. Parati 14 and 2 in duels this year. Right now, not a whole lot going on on bottom. Not really trying to wrestle through the position, kind of just catching his win, buying his time. A minute and 15 seconds of riding time here. 6 to 0 as we enter the second period here. Parati is going to pick bottom. Here's TJ. As you can see there, you could uh, hear Anthony Parati mouthing. He's holding my fingers. Uh, there's a lot of stalling going on in this match on the side of Michigan, so they'll have to be careful here, or they're, they're going to give up that point. And right back to it. Sutton on top. Anthony Parati's going to have to continue his momentum. Riding time now approaching under a minute. Sutton erase that. Well... The most electric piece of offense we saw was from Richie Lewis for Rutgers, that is, in the first half. But that was late in the third period. So this is a first period that's been dominated by a Scarlet Knight. That was really all Michigan through the first five bouts. Absolutely. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of scoring going on anywhere until Panitalio came out and really just put a, put a good match on Tyson Dippery and powered through him in all the positions and ended up going out with the major decision. 
And right here, Anthony Prati on his feet, looking for a switch. Hits the switch. Coming down. Gets back on top. He's gonna try to go back to work for some more back points. Eight to zero. Minute left here in the second period. And riding time now approaching back and move to a minute. Yep. Oh, Garrett Sutton, he's the sophomore from Richmond, Illinois. Went to Burton High School. He's seven and six in duels. He won his last decision against Maryland, the NCAA qualifier a season ago. He's got a lot of work to do, though. And Parati, he's glancing up at that riding time clock. Now a minute and 10 seconds. 25 seconds left here, and not a whole lot doing. Sutton sitting there, trying not to get turned. It's a tough, it's a tough predicament to be in, because you got to defend yourself and you don't want to go over. But 13 seconds here left, a minute and a half of riding time up for Anthony Parati as it ends the second period. Just under a minute and 40 seconds of riding time. T.J. brought it up, but he just got a good shot at the head coach, Scott Goodale. The first 500 fans had made their way inside the rack today. They had the, the signature sweater, T-shirts, and Goodale, he loves to tell the story. He wore a suit, or he wore a tie back during his days at, at Jackson Memorial High School. He ended up ripping the tie off in the first period of the first <laughs> bout, and that was that enough was for it. him. And, and it was the sweater vest ever since. They started winning a bit when he put that. Yeah, when, when when he started wearing it, we used to give him a hard time his, his first couple years here when I was on the team, and uh, it kind of formed into something that it was just, what one was he going to wear next next mm. match? And now it's even made something bigger of itself with giving away 500 T-shirts with his autograph on him and his signature sweater vest. thought Good it was deal. pretty funny. Yeah, he wrestled at Lock Haven, three NCAA championships. And there's two more. That's the takedown for Parati and... Pantaleo had the major decision at 149, and Parati, he's trying to tip that back in Rutgers' favor. The four points would tie it up. And Sutton right in on a shot. Pretty far double leg. Parati got his feet back good. He's going to have to try to score here. Looking for some bonus points right now. Has a major decision. Riding time is locked up officially. 11 to 1 is the score. Just misses the ankle there. 55 seconds left. A takedown and a turn will expend, extend the lead to a, a technical fall, but he's going to have to get to his offense a little bit. Now, Parati. Had a difficult task on Friday going up against number three, Isaac Jordan for Wisconsin. He fell 5 nothing and bounces right back against Garrett Sutton. Right here, and Sutton in on a shot. He's got his ankles popped. He's going to pop his head. Parati rolls him through. Ends up with his own takedown. 13 seconds left. And the Knights are going to go back to back and tie this one up at 10. Anthony Parati now 15 and 2 overall.